In the previous video, I used ray tracing to find the images of a conversion lens and the one of a diversion lens. What I used were the three principal rays, the ones that are parallel that go through the focal point, the ones that go through the focal point that become parallel, and the one that goes through the center undeviated. There's another way of finding the image, which is by using the thin lens equation formulas, and we should get the same results as the ones I measured here for all the distances. So let's start with the converging lens. So for my converging lens, I can use 1 over P plus 1 over Q is 1 over F. Now what is P? P is the object distance. I measured this one here as being 0 0.8 inch and I put it as positive as it's a real object. So I can replace my P by 8 inch. My image distance is actually the one I'm going to be looking for. And I measured it already as 2.8. I put it as positive because I got a real image on the right side. So we should get a positive answer as well. The focal distance for the converging lens is plus 2 inch, plus meaning it's actually a converging lens. Plus 2.0. So now all we have to do is solve this for Q. So I have to take this one over to the left side. So 1 over Q is 1 over 2.0. minus 1 over a point zero therefore my calculated image distance should be 1 over 1 over 2.0 minus 1 over 8.0. See what that gives. Over 2.0 over 8. It's divided by that. Another gate is 2.7. Rounded positive 2.7 inch. And if I look at this, this within uncertainty matches the one I measured, plus 2.8. For the units in the lens equation, interestingly, it actually doesn't matter if you use SI units or not. You see, I've using, been using inches. As long as I use the same units for all of them, for the formulas here, it doesn't matter. For the power, it does matter. There you need to put your uh, focal distance in meters to get your power in diopters. But for those up here, you can put whatever unit you want, as long as you have the same units anyway. So, our result now is that Q is plus 2.7 inches. So let's see what we should get for the height of the image. The magnification of lens is height of the image over height of, of the object, which is equal to minus my image distance over my object distance. So my magnification for this lens here should be minus Q, which was my 2.7, over my measured object distance, so 8.0, which should be equal to, let's take a calculator, 2.7 and divided by 8, 0 0.33. Six 
seven, and this zero point three four should be equal to image distance over object distance. So height of the image, sorry, not distance, height over the height of the object, which I measured here to be plus two inches. True. Therefore, the height of the image for my converging lens should be 2 times 0 0.34, which is equal to 0 0.675, so 0 0.68, 0 0.68 inches for the height of the image. When I was measuring it, I got uh, minus 0 0.8. Wait, did I forget a minus? Yes, I did. There is a minus here, so there is a minus here, so there is a minus here, so there is a minus here and here. So what does that mean, the minus? The minus actually indicate that the image is flipped. So the object got flipped, we call it here. So that's why we have a minus. Now let's do the same thing for the diversion. So for the diverging lens, the formula is the same, 1 over p plus 1 over q is 1 over f, the p being my object distance, which I had measured to be 8.0. My image distance is the one that I want to calculate, and my focal distance here was given as minus 2.0. Why minus? The minus actually indicating that I'm using the left focal point and not the right focal point, meaning that this is actually diverging lens. When I have a minus, a negative focal distance, I have a diverging lens. and have a positive focal distance, I have a converging lens. So same steps to solve it, so I get 1 over q is minus 1 over 2.0 minus 1 over 8.0, so q should be 1 over, uh, over 2.0 plus 1 over 8.0 and the whole thing minus just taking the numbers out. Let's see what that gives me. 2 plus 1 over 8. Let's divide it like that. Gives me minus 1.6 inches. What I have measured was minus 1.7, so again, within uncertainty, I have the same value. What does the minus mean? The minus means I have a virtual image. So minus means for virtual image, while here, when I had a real image, I had a positive object distance. For the virtual image, I get a negative object distance. Now let's look at the image height. So I don't think I need this anymore. So I'm using my magnification equation. So m is minus q over p, which is equal to minus minus 1.6, so plus 1.6 over p, which was 8.0, which gives me plus 0 0.2 and now my magnification which is plus 0 0.2 is equal to image height 
our object height. So I have 0 and 2 is equal to the image height which I'm looking for or the object height which I measure to be 2 inches. So 2.0. So 2.0 times 0 0.2 should give me my image height which calculates as plus 0 0.4 inches and what I had measured was 0 0.5 so I think I'm pretty close should be within uncertainty on the uh, last significant figure I have the same answer here we got a plus before with the diverging lens for the, that situation that we had so with the converging lens for the situation we had uh, we had a negative image height, which meant the image was flipped. Here I got a positive height, meaning the image is upright. And this is what I'm seeing also on my drawing. 